Hey everyone, Sarah here with SewingPartsOnline.com. Did you know that you can change the knives in your serger? Well, you can. It is super easy and I'm going to show you how it's done. So your serger knives can be replaced and you'll find that you need to replace them when your cut edges aren't looking as razor sharp anymore. The trick is to just go in and change these blades. It's really simple. You've got your upper knife and your lower knife. This is generally how most home sergers look as far as their knife setup. Right now we're using a baby lock, but my singer looks just like this. The hardest part to this whole process is one, making sure you've got your replacement knives and two, unscrewing these. So I already have our repair tech come in and loosen these for me because they're very, very hard to loosen. So you're gonna need somebody with some nice strong grip strength to loosen these up. So first let's take off the upper blade or upper knife. This is still very sharp. Sergers can do a lot of damage if you do something wrong. So make sure yours is turned off. And there it goes, our first blade is gone. Look at all this lint behind there. Make sure you clean behind here, making sure that you regularly maintain your serger just like you would a sewing machine, meaning that you oil regularly and that you dust it regularly is very important. Okay, same with this one. If you have a magnetic tip screwdriver, that would be a big help. These knives, the blades are very, very, very sharp. Even when they're dull, they're still very sharp and can cut you. So it's very important that you handle these carefully. All right, you've got your blades removed, pretty easy. Now you just get your new blades or your new knives and pop them right back on. Now let's put it back together in the opposite way that we took it off. So we took off the upper knife first and then we took off the lower knife. Now we're gonna put back on the lower knife. Scooch on up there, little knife. Gotta make sure that it's positioned perfectly. Should so it lines up with the needle plate. Needs to be flush. And then now we're gonna put on the second one. Now don't strip your screw, but it needs to be in there tightly. Okay. Pretty easy, right? And it's a great way to make sure that your serger is working in tip top shape. To find serger knives for your machine, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com. Now make sure to visit our sewing community and join by going to Facebook at facebook.com slash sewingpartsonline, Twitter at sewingparts, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, we're everywhere. And be sure to subscribe by pressing that button below for next week's sewing video.